everybody! Welcome to another episode of How to Pass the Math FSA 4th Grade Edition. You're here because you want to rock the socks off that FSA. Maybe, you know, right now you're kind of at a level 2, but you want to push for a level 3. You want to at least pass it. Maybe you're at a level 3, you've been doing alright in math, but you just want to go for it. You're like, I can get a 4 or 5. I can do it. This is where you come to do it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over some examples on a standard today. And what you need to do is click the link below that will take you to the complete guide to passing. That way you are super set and ready to go. Um, my entire school is using it right now, so it's awesome. I'm telling you, it's a game changer in this. It is going to take our scores to a whole nother level. And I'm here to help you. So I'm going over you know, tons of problems with you. I'm going to go over four problems with you today on this standard. It's maths.4.nf.3.5. Um, it's lesson 17 today, which is adding fractions with denominators of 10 and 100. So I mentioned in a previous episode that in fourth grade, we add with like denominators, meaning the denominators are the same. But I made an exception. I said, except in a few lessons, which is today's lesson, where our denominators are 10 and 100 because they are easy to find the equivalent fraction. So we're gonna get started on example one in just a second after I finish talking about this. Today, what you need to know is that 8 tenths is equal to 8 tenths, and if we add a zero to each, that becomes 80 one hundredths. So that's what you need to know today. If you add on a zero to the numerator and the denominator, you have an equivalent fraction. You need to know that for today's lesson. So let me teach ya. All right, Jenny rakes leaves in her yard. You go, Jenny. There are a ton of leaves in my yard right now. And uh, I'm looking at it right now, actually. I need to get to it, but I'm so busy making these videos for you. So this is more important, don't you think? All right, anyway. Sidetracked, Jenny rakes leaves in her yard. The fraction that Jenny has raked so far is represented by the shaded model shown. So I see a model, looks very familiar. It looks like uh, one of those place value blocks with 100 squares in it. I've got 10 going down, I've got 10 going across, so yes, it is. There's 100 squares here. So this is the amount of her yard that she has raked. Okay, let's see how, how much she's raked so far. So she's raked 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, out of the 100 little baby squares, 27 hundredths of her yard so far. Jenny will rake four tenths more of the yard before she takes a break. What fraction of the yard will Jenny rake when she takes a break. Is that a wrap? What fraction of the yard will Jenny rake when she takes a break? Watch that, it's gonna be on the Billboard Top 100. <laughs> All right, so what I'm doing is I'm adding the amount that she needs to rake, that she's going to rake before she goes. Okay, so here's the deal. My denominators are different here. I've got 100 and I have 10. Can't happen for adding and subtracting fractions. The denominators need to be the same. So we just learned that if I need to change this to 100 and add a zero down here, that I need to change my numerator. It is as easy as that, ladies and gentlemen. So now I have 100, 100 in my denominator. I can add them now. 27 plus 40 equals 67 out of 100. So that's what goes into the equation editor box. On Ms. McCarthy, to the set, we are ready to begin example two. Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> I wasn't eating anything, just teasing. All right, example two, which fraction is equivalent to two tenths? Ten halves? No, that's just flipped. <coughs> that's a fraction greater than one. Two one hundredths. No, that would be a much smaller piece. Twenty one hundredths. Hmm. 
Very interesting. Let's see. 2, 10, add a 0, add a 0. Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. And then 120th would be a fraction greater than 1. Not what we need. There we go. Okay, example three, match each equation with the correct missing add-end. A missing add-end is just something that you would add. Um, okay, so the first one, let me write it out here. It says what plus 18 hundredths equals 48 hundredths. Well, I know that inside that box, that 14, sorry, 48, 48, minus 18 equals 30. So 30 one hundredths. But there is no 30 one hundredths. However, wacha, wacha, take off the ending zeros, find the equivalent fraction, which would be 3 tenths, and you have your answer for that one. Okay, I'm going to erase it and move on to the other one. Oh, 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 oh. All right, 26 one hundredths plus what equals 86 hundredths? Okay, so 86 minus 26 would equal 60, so 60 hundredths. 26 hundredths plus 60 hundredths would equal 6 tenths, but we don't have 60 hundredths, but we know a little karate move. Watch out, watch out. Take off these zeros, you have your equivalent fraction, which is 6 ten. Oops, not for that one. If I had an eraser, I would erase that big time. I would not just scratch it like that. Um, okay, next one. Oh, the green is always so hard to get off of here. Okay, and our final example is what plus 23 hundredths, I bet it's going to be 7 tenths, equals 93 hundredths. So I can subtract what I know. I know that if I subtract 93 minus 23, I'll find my numerator for this box. Zoop. Zoop, so 70 one hundredths. But I don't have a 70 hundredths, but I do have watcha, watcha, super duper awesome watcha, karate moves. And I have 7 tenths. This is our final example for this benchmark. Troops! So let's go. Select all, that means it's multi-select. Select all the fractions that are equivalent to the sum of the equation. Sum means that we are adding. It's our answer for the sum. Okay, so it says 40 hundredths plus one-tenth equals what? Well, what you learn in today's video is that when our denominators are not the same, we need to make them the same. And for tenths and hundredths, this is super easy. I need to turn this into 100, so zero on the bottom, zero on the top, and now I just add across. So zoop, keep your denominator the same. 40 plus 10 is 50 hundredths, which could also be what you five, what you tenths if I took off a zero. So let me find those answers. 41 hundredths. Nope, that would be a student who just added the numerators and forgot the denominators had to be the same. 51 hundredths, yes. 41 tenths, same thing as this. Student wasn't doing the proper thing. 5 tenths, yes. 4 and 1 tenth, no. Okay guys, math superstars, teachers, parents out there, and of course, my awesome scholars. It's time for me to leave you with a motivational message today. Be strong when you are weak, brave when you are scared, and humble when you are victorious. All right, let's take a look at that. Be strong when you are weak. There are times that you're going to feel like you're weak and you do not have 
what it takes, you do. You need to stay strong, be strong, and fight the good fight. You've got it. Not literally fighting, you know, we don't want that, but fighting here, okay? Brave. Be brave when you are scared, okay? So, you know, when you, let's say, for instance, when you go to take the FSA, well, of course, you've been watching these videos, so you've been doing what you need to do, but when you get there, you might be a little nervous. You might be a little scared. Be brave about it, okay? When you're scared in life, be like, okay, acknowledge that you're scared and just say, I'm brave. I can handle this. And humble yourself when you are victorious. When you win, uh, for example, when you get a level four or a five and you rock that FSA, you knock it out of the ballpark, you will be victorious, but you need to stay humble. What does humble mean? That means respectful. It means the opposite of humble would be, uh-huh, all right, I got a level four, I got a level five, you didn't, you stink, a P U. uh-uh. No, that's not nice. Be humble. When you get it and you see your score, do one of these. <sighs> okay, that's being humble. That's You can be proud of yourself, it's all good. You did it, you were victorious but stay respectful. So that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope to see you in the next episode.